Hi, welcome to another video. So this video is talking about the Touchstone bi-directional current sense amplifier. So you might be able to see in this picture it's a SOT23 but 6 pin. So just twice the size of a SOT23 transistor. It's a pretty small but if you look at my SMD soldering video use a small soldering iron tip, quite easy to do. So it's just one IC, a couple of decoupling capacitors and a current sense resistor which is actually tied underneath. I'll show you the circuit drawing. So the advantage with this IC is it measures the current flowing in one direction and obviously you can run it into your ADC and do a conversion, get a measurement up on LCD or TFT but if the current changes direction from like charging to discharging one of these pins goes high and you can run that to your TFT or LCD or buzzer or something and that will notify you the current's going the other way which means something's discharging. Well, I'll show the code and the PDF file. Well, the circuit I've got running, this is Microchip's lithium iron battery charger. Managed to get it soldered onto a PCB. This is a 20 QFN. So this is the bi-directional current sense amplifier by Touchstone and this is a Sony Cybershot lithium iron battery. So these LEDs, in case you haven't seen my other video, when the blue and green's on, it's charging. If the red's on, it says there's a fault. This LED is just discharging it when I turn the power supply off. And I've got some additional resistors to increase the current to flatten it more, which I'll show you on the screen. Right, I'll show you the code first. That's the routine to show the current is going in a reverse direction, so it's discharging the battery. Well, so all I'm doing here is the PIC32 MX7, but look at your microcontroller, depends what one you're using. On this PIC32, port B are the analog inputs. So what I'm doing is bit 8 and bit 9 of port B, I'm saying it's an input. And if you haven't seen my other ADC video, I have to change the AD1 PCFG register, which is FEFF -F gives me port B dot bit 8 is analog. Let me just remind you, in case you haven't seen my other videos, so get the calculator up, change it, change the view. The programmer. So we want bit 8 of port B. So it goes up to 15, so down here to decimal. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8 is analog. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 gives us a hex value of FEFF. -F. Simple. So change the 81 PCFG to FEFF -F if you're using a 32-bit microcontroller. That will give us an analog uh, reading on bit 8. Bit 9 is just the direction control where this high load tells me which direction the current is flowing in. Right, this is the ADC routine, so I've got unsigned int as the ADC value, char ADC string, that's just to print it on the TFT, and because I'm dealing with less than one amp, I'm floating the amps, so we get lots of decimal places. So ADC value is ADC1 read, channel 8 for bit 8, Amps equals 3.3 volts divided by 1024, or you can have 1023, 1024 times the ADC value. And for this particular touchstone chip, I'm dividing the value again by 4.9, gives me a fairly accurate output. And then float to string, amps, amps string, or ADC string. And then I'm outputting the value in white. That's just an external font, which is why you've got that number there. Uh, yeah, outputting the value with that text. Delay 200 milliseconds, and then writing it again in new. And that new is the color of the screen because it changes every minute. 
Well, I've got the routine updating quickly so that we don't have to wait a minute during this video for the update. So at the moment, the power supply is running the microchip lithium ion battery charger, and I've got my meter in series for, to measure current. And we've got, so remember if this is what happens if you get a float, it gives you the exponent minus two. So you move the decimal place two places to the left. So we've got 28, 0.2 milliamps uh, charging current. So if I just zoom back out so you can see the meter, I've not had too much time to mess about with the accuracy. You can probably get it more accurate, but so if we zoom out there, hopefully you can still see the TFT screen and the meter. So let me see 28. 0.2 milliamps and we got 28.3 on the meter but that's not bad I've got lots of long wires here and there's lots of noise coming from everything like the power supply my fluorescent light yeah just the long wires by themselves uh, dodgy crocodile clips right so now what I'll do I'll turn the power supply off and this is that routine you saw so it's now one of the pins has gone high to tell me the current's flowing the other way so now we've got discharging and it's still measuring the current so what have we got 30 I was fluctuating a bit 35 it was on 36 a minute ago so we've got 35 something 36 milliamps on the meter but to reiterate I've got lots of long wires and probably need more decoupling um, obviously if it was on a printed circuit board you wouldn't have any of this interference I know some of the noise is coming off this TFT display and the long cables and my ADC wires running behind them so so we've got discharging current 35.5 but we've got 36 on a meter I did see a 36 earlier but the meter is obviously more accurate than the ADC on this microcontroller but purely because of the length of my wiring that sort of stuff and the code I haven't quite refined it but so if I turn the power supply back on so 28 milliamps 29 on the meter so 28.9 28.78 on a meter. Well, I forgot to point out. So this fluke meter, obviously, that's measuring a negative current as well. So what have we got now? Minus 35.7 milliamps. And we've got minus, because it's discharging, minus 34.8. So within a milliamp, as I say, I just threw the code together. A couple of figures just to get a reading. You can obviously refine it, so but I think it's brilliant. It uh, measures the current in both directions. Although I've got this just on a 5 volt supply and it's charging a 3.7 volt lithium, yeah, this little touchstone current sensor amplifier can measure voltages up to 25 volts. So you can charge yeah, 12 volt batteries and 18 volt batteries, probably 24 volt batteries, but maybe a bit closer to the mark. And you can measure the current in both directions. So that's it really, uh, it's just been raining, for those of you who haven't seen my other videos, that's the, I've got 16 watts coming off the solar panel at the moment, batteries upstairs, 14.2 volts, at 1.13 amps, that's what's charging at the moment, in today's day and date, that sort of stuff. The current sense amplifier upstairs, is similar to this touchstone, it's actually a linear technologies, and I've done a video on that, but it doesn't tell me if, when it starts discharging at night but this one will. So maybe you're familiar with this sort of bi-directional current sense amp or maybe you're not. Well, let me just uh, quickly show you the data sheet. Actually, what I was gonna do while it's discharging, join those two 10 ohm resistors together, just to give us a bit more load. Well, so two 10 ohm resistors across that lithium ion battery, so that the current is shot up to so the exponent's gone from 2 to 1, so we just moved the decimal place one place. 
so 151 milliamps well that's a bit 150 is a bit out this meter is on 145 Oh, I saw 145 just then, but it's probably all my dodgy wiring, dodgy leads. There we are, this is the amplifier, touchstone TS1101. You can see plus 2 is 25 volts bi-directional precision when you haven't got long ribbon cable, that sort of stuff. That's the uh, main data and simple wiring diagram. So one point one ohm resistor there and you see it's all done for you the wall, charger, power supply, whatever and then your battery is 2 to 25 volts and it will measure the current one way or the other and then down the bottom there you can see the sort of out for your ADC uh, and this is the sign it goes positive or negative or yeah it goes high if it's discharging stays low if it's not discharging a couple of decoupling caps ground simple and obviously power so that's it got to be the quickest video yet hopefully you found this helpful thank you very much